Peace and love you, beautiful miracles of a spiritual level of being. Nathan here from a spiritual level of being, and today I want to discuss automatic writing. Now, automatic writing is a technique we can use in our meditations. Now, it's basically when you, you're meditating, you have a book in front of you, and you write down your experiences, that what you see, or you ask, say, entities or your mind, a question. Say you see a past life, you ask this past life experience that you're seeing a question and you write down your answer. And as you start practicing this meditation a bit more, you're able to get better responses, able to write a lot better, especially with your eyes closed because you're not really able to see. Now you also have to separate fact and fiction because ultimately this is all just symbolic meanings within you through your unconscious, subconscious, creative mind trying to tell you something. And ultimately you're a mind. So this is a way of communicating with yourself. Now, in my experience, I was with what I wrote down, I got some quotes I never heard of, and I also seen some past life experiences. Now, in this meditation experience, I seen a hunter, and he told me that he was born in the Balkans and that he moved to Scandinavia. And he told me that even a wolf can transform into a dove. And I haven't heard this quote before. Now, I also seen an experience, I had a monk speak to me, and he told me his name was Christophanos, and he owned a vineyard, and he loved watching the grapes grow. He also enjoyed making and tasting new wines. And he also gave me a saying, or well, advice, if you will. He said that the soul is the inner eye, or the mind's eye. So I was interesting with these experience, what you write down. I even seen a sun god follower who told me her name was Anita. I asked who her parents were, and she told me that her father was Justinios, and her mother's name was Nerea, and that she lived in a Roman province, and she had family that lived in France, and she lived in Greece, and she would travel between her family estates to go visit and be with her family. And she told me that she enjoyed wearing purple dresses, and royalty colours in Rome, that she enjoyed wearing jewellery with sapphire and green gemstones. And she told me that the light is free charity. So the sun is free charity. And these experiences can be interesting. And it's up to you how you interpret them, how you feel to them. And ultimately, these are still messages within you that can answer something. Now, I truly believe that the greatest symbolic meanings, mystic meanings that we truly connect with in life are simply lessons that are returning to us. Reincarnation. So I see everything is of mind. We are more than mostly thoughts. So this is a way of communicating with ourselves in a sense. And meditation isn't about being lost in these visions. It's about exploring yourself, understanding yourself, preparing for death, not being afraid of death, finding peace in places you would feel uncomfortable, living the best human experience you can. Meditation itself is a tool that can help you process this. But ultimately it's the experiencer that is, the individual that is experiences so experiencing this experience. So you take this as you will. I encourage you, give it a try. It's really got ways. It's a bit of fun. So in your meditation, write down what you see. You start off drawing spirals, and I love spirals because to me that's represents reincarnation. And the reason you draw this in a sense is to give you a feel of the pen and the paper in a sense. You have your eyes closed and you write down what you see or what the questions are. Another form of meditation meditation you can use is the self Hypnosis is used. Same with this is a type of hypnosis because therapists will use this type of meditation, um, automatic writing, and to experience and resolve past traumas, to actually resolve them, and also to explore the subconscious creative mind, to also explore past lives, to explore a certain individual's reality. Now, as I mentioned before as well, as I was about to mention, is this other type of meditation you can use is also a form of hypnosis. And that's when you're meditating is you record yourself and you speak the experiences you're feeling or what you see. And you can play back and listen to what you're describing. And this is a form of self-hypnosis in a sense. And ultimately, this is a message from within yourself. You're exploring your mind. Everything is of mind. All life itself is a mathematical living experience. And you are a mathematical living mind. So as you start practicing this both of these sort of meditations as well. You'll start getting more powerful experiences. You'll start 
getting more of a feel or rhythm to it. And so your experience would be a bit more greater and a bit more understanding towards what these meanings actually mean. And everything is within you. So these meanings is something that you know within yourself. Peace and love, everyone. I love you all. Connect to my minus soul. Namaste.